Good morning, guys. It's Monday, the 8th of April, um, and I've just been triggered into first trade of the week on the FTSE 100. So, as always with the live trade, I will talk you through analysis, I'll talk you through trade management, um, try and explain to you what it is that I am looking at. So, I should apologize if I seem like a little bit of a zombie today. Um, I was in Ireland on a course over the weekend. I um, didn't get back until really late last night. So I'm kind of at the computer in a little bit of a daze. Now, coming into the start of today, really, the preference was for looking for weakness. You know, funnily enough, I'm in a sell position. Um, the reason for that being, on the daily time frame, we've had a big old bullish rally, um, very little recent pullback, and then we're hitting into fairly key resistance levels from... Um, we'll double check on the daily time frame, but I believe it's from last year. So we started to test into those levels on Friday and then coming into the start of the market today. Um, so pre-market, we'd broken down, we started to make that pullback. You can actually see on the five minute intraday structure, lots of it giving the clue that potentially the resistance levels that I'm looking at on the daily time frame are holding fairly fast. So as soon as I started to see that kind of structure, as soon as we broke down below this zone, we pulled back, what have we got as a very nice confluence into this trade? The MA200, yeah, really good um, when it's lining up with what you're looking for. So into the sell position, we are just now testing into first sort of real level of potential support. And then down below there, we've got a little bit stronger support down at the uh, around about 7430 level. So really if we start breaking down into these levels, this previous swing, I would be looking um, to potentially take profits out of the market. Now, into this video, a couple of things worthwhile going over. Um, with the with live trade videos and just trading videos in general, it's very easy um, to sort of to just focus on the money. Um, I don't mean from my perspective, I mean from when you're watching the videos and sort of learning from trading videos. It's very easy to just focus on the um, the money. And you sort of get into the trade, you you watch you watch what's going on, you listen to what's going on, but the main focus is um, at the end of it, oh, there's a, there's a big chunk of money there. It's really good. And then it sort of gets into your head, you know, well, I can get into the uh, my own trading and I can potentially make this kind of money. Um, one of the sort of big, big things to think about is, um, especially when I put videos out, I go over this all the time in my videos, all the time when I have sort of tough periods, quiet periods, I talk through it. But what I also do, a lot of the time, if you look through the live trade videos, they're from a Tuesday. And they're from a Tuesday because there's nothing that I seen on the Monday that I was happy to trade. So that means I've been sitting for an entire day looking at the charts and nothing has come. It's easy to sort of see a trade video and see the, see if it's a, especially if it's a profit, you know, sometimes they lose, if they lose, they lose. But if it's a profit, it's very easy to sort of look at it and think, oh, it's 10 minutes, 15 minutes and he's made money. Um, and then it, it sort of starts to simplify it in your head and you start to think that's how it should be. And you start to think if I just start trading loads and loads and loads, I can start making these profits over and over and over again. But it's, it's just as important to focus on the fact that very often, um, I mean, it happens to me all the time. I, I don't have a trade on the Monday because I'm extremely selective. Now, being extremely selective, I still have losses, but it's easy to sort of forget that fact when you're just watching a live trade video. I mean, last week, I didn't have a trade on Monday and I didn't have a trade on Tuesday. And then on Wednesday, the trade only came in at sort of lunchtime. You know, um, I think it was around about one o'clock. I can't remember exactly, but that's two entire days of just sitting at the market. And that's the way that I trade. Now, it's not the way that everyone trades. Some people trade, um, they just, you know, it's five, six, seven trades in a day, and then they'll have um, a lot more losses, but hopefully they're also having a lot more winners and it's kind of evening itself out. It's just different ways of trading. Um, and it really depends how you approach the market, what sort of experience you're gonna have. Neither one's right or wrong, but my approach is, um, I sort of look for very specific things, when I get into the trade, I tend to be more cautious, especially if I don't have an overall view on the market. And that leads to a lot of break-even trades. 
a lot of break-even trades so I can sit for a couple of days and I can be into trades so they look really good and I can be knocked out of break-even and then the trade might hit the profit target. The reason I do that is because I also know it helps me reduce a lot of my losses and by reducing losses it's more sort of psychological. Um, I know personally from experience that my weakness starts to come in if I start to have runs of losses so I try and avoid that and I try and avoid that by being a lot more cautious. Um, and also within the people who trade with me or zone trader they also trade differently which is really interesting because they sort of find what works for them um, some of them use an extremely cautious approach and they do um, so one guy emailed um, last week or the week before sorry I am, I am still like a zombie here they emailed a couple of weeks ago or maybe 10 days ago something like that and he'd had 13 trades he'd had six wins six break-evens and he had a loss now he said the loss was his own mistake um, and what people see with that is they think oh it's like six winning trades you know and six break-even trades that's just you know constant money it's really easy but what you don't see is the frustration of when he is missing the trades because I know because I do that all the time um, and that frustration, if it doesn't suit you as a trader, will lead you to start making mistakes. Um, so it might sound good, but it has to fit with your personality. Now, other traders who trade zone trader, they just get into the trade. They have a fixed profit target. They wait for high probability trades, but they have a fixed profit target. It has to reach that target. If it doesn't reach that target, they don't do anything. If it reaches that target, they'll then maybe get to stop the break even, maybe take partial profits. But that's them in the trade. Now, they have more losses, but they also catch more of the big winning movements um, and again that wouldn't suit somebody who likes to trade with lots of break-evens um, and they can't sort of flip they're both trading the same system but they are fitting the system to how they want to trade and the reason it's important is because it's very easy to just see winning trades um, I'm not saying this trade is going to be a winning trade I have no idea um, there's always losing trades but it's very easy to see winning trades and see money um, especially if it's a very experienced trader and you start to think it's easy, you know, I can do this um, really easily. He's just having lots of wins. It's taken a long time to get to that level for any professional trader, but also they've found out what works for them. Um, and you're not necessarily seeing where they're struggling. Um, so my struggles come if I have runs of losses, as I've mentioned. And so everything I've done kind of is built around that and it's kind of designed to stop me, hopefully, from having those runs of losses. And I don't have big runs of losses. I have runs of break-even trades. Or I have runs of days where I'm just sitting doing nothing. Now, I still have losses, but I'm a much... I'd say, to be honest, I'm pretty unique as a trader. I trade as little as possible. <laughs> I'm not a quick fire trader. Uh, I'm not even looking to trade every day. I'm only looking to trade when it is very specific. Uh, I'm, I'm happy with my analysis and the setup is too good for me to ignore. Um, and then I'm willing to get into trading. It's, also, it's almost like I'm sitting there thinking, um, what are the negatives? And I'm looking for the negatives to keep me out of the trade. And then it's only if I don't see those negatives, I'm like, all right, okay, everything's looking good. I want to get into the trade. It's like almost... I'm pulled in, I'm forced into the trade. So it's, good, it's, it's worthwhile considering anyway, because I don't want, um, I talk about it in all my videos, um, if I had frustrating periods, losing periods, but it's, it's still important to sort of go over now and again. Um, so, especially if you're a brand new to trading, you can be aware of it. It's not, it's not easy. Um, there's not just runs of wins, lots of frustration, lots of downtimes, and depending on the way you're trading, there's also um, can be lots of losses. Okay, so right now, we're not really doing anything. Um, just kind of holding at this 440 level. Um, and I'm still happy to hold on to this, looking for a breakdown, hopefully toward these levels and underneath. Really, I would have liked to have seen it all coming at once. Um, that's what I was hoping for because it's quite a lot of structure up here. I was hoping for a sort of a test, a rejection, and then the bearish movement. But so far, it's not come. So all I'm going to do is pause the video. Um, when I can get my stop to break even, if I can, um, or when I close it for profit, we'll then look at the daily time frame and have a look at the analysis. But that's the five minute reasons. You know, it's it's the structure, which is lining up with potential analysis. You've got the MA200 in there as a little added confluence. Um, and yeah, big rejection at 8 a.m. So the 8 a.m. candle straight up rejected, started to break down below. Yeah, it gave me um, enough to get into the trade. Okay, so I'm going to pause the video, guys. I'll turn it back on if we start to move one way or the other.
Okay guys, so I have now closed the trade at around about £369 of profit. So nice early morning trade, uh, worked out pretty much as I was hoping for. Uh, all bearish candles, relatively um, simple. Well, apart from this one actually, this one at 810 was fairly bullish. But apart, right after that, nice solid decline. Um, that's one of the other things, actually, let's go on to the daily time frame. It's one of the other things that people always ask me. Um, why do you look for one solid trade in a day and then finish? Um, because trading for me is about more than just money. If it was just money, and if you want my honest answer, I would not be trading. <laughs> it's too stressful. There's too much uncertainty. Um, it just, it wouldn't be for me. But when I add in the, the freedom that it offers, for me, it's one of the best jobs um, out there you know uh, it doesn't happen every day i can't predict when it's going to happen but like today it's 8 30 um, in the morning i'm now finished for the day i feel like a zombie after the weekend as i, as I was explaining to you guys um, now i should also explain <laughs> that's not through being away for the weekend partying um, i was at a seminar <laughs> uh, but there were a few uh, guinnesses added in for good measure so Market rallied up into, wrong line, let me delete delete that one. Rallied up into key levels, This basically this whole section up here. Um, starting to test back into fairly key swing points. Yeah, you see the market tested up here multiple times, and then we had a fairly solid bearish decline. So on the way back up once again, uh, we went over a few weeks ago, the double bottom. We then got the pullback to retest into the double bottom before we got the bounce. Uh, and where are we? We are now into key levels of resistance. So although the market may continue on this bullish run-up, it's a good area for profit taking. One, two, this is a Sunday candle, three, four, five, six, seven bullish days in a row. Um, so it's just giving more weight to seller stepping in. We got seller stepping in here, 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 and then today we came in, we'd broken down below uh, fairly key levels from Friday. So I was happy to look for again the continued decline so that is everything for today guys as always i hope that was helpful um 8 30 i'm probably going to go back upstairs um and lie down for at least half an hour trying to get my head back together so <clears throat> i hope you're all having a good trading week guys um, i hope you're all having a good april i'm james or and thank you